In production, beyond just the cut and dissolve, we normally see a user-generated or a user-built wipe. And so for Kairos, we can actually generate and send those wipes from our internal RAM player. To build a custom transition or a wipe in Kairos, again, we're gonna be using our internal RAM player. So quickly, I'll jump to our media RAM player and I can see the files that I wanna play back. So we have our replay wipe down here and our replay wipe travel mask. So two elements to build this three channel effect. We only need two because we can see our internal player has the ability to identify and play back clips with alpha. So we see a checker box here behind the graphic and we also see on our menu here an indicator that this graphic has alpha channel. To build the actual wipe, we want to go and jump to our transitions tab. Transitions in Kairos are going to be scene specific. So if we look at our 16 by 9 scene that we've created, we can see the different layers that are associated with that scene. So in that scene we have a background layer, which is an AB bus. We have a key layer 1 on top and layer 2 on top of that. By default your scene is going to have as many transitions as it has layers. So again, we have three layers in this scene, background, layer one and two. So we have three default transitions, an AB mix for our background, an on-off dissolve for our layer one, and an on-off dissolve for our layer two. If we wanna create a new user effect or a new user transition to get from background A to background B, we first want to click create new transition and we can give it a name from here. I will just name this replay. So this will be our new replay wipe. So you can see a new column has been added. As I mentioned, this is gonna be a transition on our background layer. So I'm simply gonna select our background layer row. And now I'm going to come up to our user folder. In our user folder, we now have the ability to add in a new wipe simply by right clicking and doing a new effect. For this example, we're gonna do a new replay move. And so this will be replay wipe one, and we will label this hex, because that is the type of wipe that we're using. If you remember that little clip we saw, it's a hex wipe. And so now that I've created that new wipe, now I need to associate the different media files with it. So to do that, once I have that wipe selected, we can see on the right-hand side here in our parameter view, we have the different elements that are associated with that wipe. I can get to the same menu with a right click and edit. That'll pop it up here in the middle. So the first thing I need to do is assign a mask to this wipe. Again, this is a three channel effect. So I will need that AB mask. Here it is here from our RAM player. Click OK. So I grab my mask. Now I just grab my fill. So again, that was our hex replay wipe that we loaded in. Click OK. So I have my travel mask. I have my key and fill associated with one clip because it does have built-in alpha. So I don't need to add a key signal here. For this wipe, I don't need to invert my mask or the wipe, and the blend mode um, does not need to be changed either. So I've added my elements. Now I have created my new user effect. To add this user effect to my scene, I can simply drag it down, put it into the landing spot here, or once I have a landing spot selected, a double click will send it there as well. Now that I've sent my wipe, there's one more thing to do for this specific wipe, and that's change the duration. This wipe should be 55 frames, so I'll change the duration here. And we'll see that reflected above the replay wipe. You also have the ability to add an audio trigger. So again, for a replay wipe, maybe you have a whoosh or some sort of effect noise that you wanna come down as well on this trigger. Simply click the pencil and navigate to the appropriate audio player for that audio. Now that I've created that user wipe, let's see what it looks like. I can fire it here with the auto button. So that will fire it once and we can see the playhead come and reset or now that I have it built in the software, I can come over to my panel, navigate to that fourth position, which is where we put the replay wipe. I can see it's labeled here, hex, replay. So I can fire that effect from here as well. So replay four, auto, 
or if I want to delegate to the T-bar, I have the ability to manually trigger that wipe. And we can see on our output that it is a true three channel effect. I'm able to have the mask travel with the wipe and we get the completion of that transition. So that's one way we can build an effect in Kairos. That's gonna be a three channel effect. Um, if we wanna build an overlay wipe, so think um, something coming over the screen and then a cut underneath, we're gonna go through a similar process, except instead of having a travel mask, we will do an undercut. So again, to build a new wipe, I'm gonna start with a new transition and I'm going to label this one overlay. I'll select my background because that's what I want to manipulate. I'm still in my user folder, so I'll come in and now I will do a new effect. I can use the same replay wipe here, even though we're not going to have a mask with it. Um, and this will be energy beam, be the name of this wipe. So now I've created that here. Get to that same edit menu. Again, I'm not using a mask in this example, I only need an overlay. So I grab my fill signal, which will be this energy beam here. Click OK. I don't need a key signal because again, alpha is embedded in the clip and it's being played back internally. For this clip specifically, I do know it is um, additive for my blend mode here. My mask is correct. I don't need to do any inversion. So now that that's set, I can click OK and I've now created the energy beam can do the same process as far as bringing this wipe down or double clicking, but this wipe has no built-in mask. So in order for Kairos to do that cut, I need to stack a transition along with my user clip. And the way I do that is I'm going to grab a A to B mix. I'm gonna first bring that down to my overlay transition, come back and now drop my energy beam on top of that. So I've stacked an energy beam on top of a dissolve. And so now I simply just need to trim that dissolve to happen when my beam is overlaid. And so if I come back to the surface here and I delegate my energy beam to the T-bar, I can now move the T-bar to a position where the energy beam has now taken over the screen. And at this position, I want my dissolve to happen underneath or my cut. So I simply come back in my software and trim that transition to match this point. So if we look at our progress bar down here, we can see my transition has um, paused halfway through. That's when my energy beam has taken full screen. And so my mix on the background is only going to happen in that frame when the energy beam is full screen. So I'll continue with the T-bar forward to complete the transition. And now I will fire it again and we can see as the energy beam comes full screen, nothing happens. When it goes away, it reveals a new camera underneath. So that's a quick way to build two different types of examples two different types of wipes. One of those wipes being a three channel with a built-in mask, the other one being an overlay effect. So just remember when you build that overlay effect, have the cut underneath. When you have a mask, there's no need to do that.